Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. There's an analyst, an XRP chart analyst, who believes that XRP is poised for a 175% rally if it can stay above this major line of support that is cited in the article that's on your screen right now. Uh, I tell you what, given the um, notable um, lack of positivity in terms of price developments. Uh, it's been, look, I, I acknowledge it's been a little less fun than normal for many, uh, given the, the downness of the XRP price. Uh, happy to report on a, a little bit of a positive outlook here. And this isn't the only analyst in this particular video that's looking positive. There's another analyst that says uh, XRP might be looking pretty good by March, which really sounds further away than it is. It's almost January already. So, you know, it's just inside of the next few months. So I'll share with you some specifics. Uh, there is one notable analyst, though, that says, hey, uh, we, we, the charts show that we are just nowhere near the bottom. So I've got multiple opinions to share with you uh, from chart analysts. And you do not need to be a chart analyst to appreciate and enjoy this video. No, no, no. To the contrary, this video is made for people kind of like me who don't know how the hell to read a damn chart and also don't care to learn. But just, but, but while at the same time learn uh, or appreciate, um, you know, learning the opinions of those that are chart analysts and uh, I ideally know what the hell they're doing. So if you believe that Mac D is a hip hop artist, if you believe Fibonacci is a fine Italian restaurant down the street, and if you believe that when chart analysts talk about a wedge they are actually indeed discussing cheese my friend this is indeed the video for you so uh, before we go any further if you would please delicately tap that like button and if you're a fan of ripple and xrp just consider just consider you don't have to do it i know it's a big life decision but consider subscribing to the moon lambo channel now if you're not cons completely sold on the concept i would advise you know uh, just maybe take a little bit of nyquil get sleepy get a good night's rest and when you wake up you know, just, just see how you feel in your gut. And if it sounds like the right thing, come back to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. But hey, no pressure from me here. We can still be friends either way, I guess. But we won't be best friends unless you subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Now, the market cap for the asset class, $190 billion. Bitcoin's at $7,308. And XRP is at 19.1 cents as I record this. And look at the top three coins here in particular. These charts look almost exactly the damn same. Uh, some of the others in the top 10 actually kind of broke away. Some of them have had more bullish momentum, actually. Just to, oh, It's worth noting that because I can almost never say that. But if you look at like Bitcoin Cash and you look at Litecoin, EOS, um, BNB, uh, most of the chart looks pretty similar. But very recently, within the last, uh, call it a day or two, there have been some uh, breakouts for some of these coins here. But uh, and that's why, of course, the charts are never, really, never literally every single day going to look the same as Bitcoin. But... It's not coincidence that I happen to be able to point out pretty much every day for what seems like weeks on end that the, top, like the, the, the weekly charts for the top 10 coins look very samey. All right, you can see here's the 24-hour chart for XRP, 24-hour chart for Bitcoin, not that different. All right, so take a look at this. Analyst believes XRP poised for 175% rally if it can stay above this major line of support. A popular crypto analyst and Coin Telegraph contributor just released a new forecast for XRP. Michael Vandepop says the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap may be forming a pattern similar to the one that played out in December of 2015 uh, when XRP hit a bottom before surging back in January of 2016. Here's a quote now. Honestly, I believe that we're looking at the market cycle similar to the period we've experienced in December 15 and January 2016. Yes, market is completely different than back then, but market cycles tend to move the same way given market psychology and the human being. One difference, they move on new price levels. The reason for it to take longer now, markets mature and therefore take a longer time period to start cycling again. And uh, that, that makes sense to me. I think as you can see, by the way, look at and again, not financial advice. I'm just sharing with you a, a, a thought as an XRP community member. Don't buy or sell because of this because I have no financial background, period. That would be really dumb. But it seems to me that uh, as the asset class matures, it's, the market cycles are going to be longer. And, and not only that, there will be less volatility. That's, that's what I suspect is going to take hold here. Anyway, the analyst warns that XRP's new line of support is in the 14 to 17 cent range. If it breaks below that level, he predicts serious problems will follow. Of course, he's talking about price. And here's a quote now from him. 
Given the sentiment on Ripple, but the amount of things they develop and progress, I've no doubt people only expect further downside. If we lose blue, then we've got some serious problems going on. However, the pattern is once again similar to the one in 2015, not expecting. Right. And then the article picks up, stating again, uh, the trader points out that despite his optimism, many analysts remain bearish on XRP after the coin's major struggles in 2019. Well, look, uh, every alt's down, okay, pretty much, not literally, but uh, by and large, take a look at the top 10. Where do they start? Where do they end the year? Fine. Bitcoin, Bitcoin fine. Bitcoin, this was the year of Bitcoin in terms of price action. This is this was not an altcoin market in 20, uh, 2019. Unless something happens in the next few days, which, who knows. But I'm just saying, outside of that, it's pretty clear this was the year of Bitcoin in terms of price action. And uh, I don't care, because I'm a long-term guy. Yes, this is an XRP-centric channel, but that's a cold, hard fact. But there will be alt season. Not financial advice, but I firmly believe it's coming. And XRP price has not seen its best days. There's a reason that I continue to purchase you know, uh, and it's on a regular schedule. I'm happy to uh, happy to risk being wrong. All right. Uh, next, here's a piece from Amy Crypto. It's written by Manu Nike, a chart analyst here. He states XRP unlikely to cross 30 cents before March. But again, 30 cents inside the next few mark. Just let me share with you a couple parts of this because there's potential bullish and bullishness and. Even if it took a few months, you know, fine. We don't want to wait a few months. I'm happy to be patient, though. It's still coming from my perspective. But if it breaks out in a certain direction, so just check this out. Um, a look at the price movement chart for XRP since its inception showed little price action over the last year. 2019 saw a yearly high of around 50 cents, a dismal price tag compared to 2018's high of $3.00. And 31 cents. Now, of course, 2018 was actually higher than that, depending on what your source is. Uh, Live Coin Watch says I think something like three dollars and 91 cents. So it depends on how they're, um, you know, you know, accumulating the data to report on that. But anyway, um, it had breached under the 20 cent mark earlier this month and has had some trouble recovering from the drop, valued at 19 cents at the time of writing. <clears throat> XRP exhibited little signs of hope. Though things could change as the uh, as the coin in the, in the long term, uh, this is a broken sentence, but this is crypto media. Things could change as the coin in the long term. Oh, okay, thanks, AMB Crypto. Yeah, for nothing. All right, let's scroll down a little further now. That we're done making fun of the author of this. So here's the conclusion: a corrective movement could see XRP price testing the 38.2 uh, percent Fibonacci retracement. Ooh, what a fine Italian restaurant. Um, at 22.8 cents. Uh, by the first week of January, and the time scale at which the pattern is forming makes the move above 30 cents before March quite unlikely. However, if the coin's volatility were to rise up to, say, mid-June levels, a swing in price up to uh, the breakout point looks feasible. Further, if an eventual upward breakout could push XRP theoretically to above 43.6 cents, However, volatility works both ways and could just as well see the price tumble beneath its recent lows. But to me, still, it's just a matter of time. And can you imagine a world, so especially the Bitcoin max out there, ah, XRP's going to zero, but our king coin is going to rule the world. Okay, so if you're right, do you, you really, like, you little Mr. Bitcoin maxi, Bitcoin keeps running up perpetually in price, but for some reason, even though you can look, it's a cold hard fact, XRP is tethered to the price action of Bitcoin by and large, uh, but it's suddenly just not at this time as Bitcoin goes up. It's going to be the first time in history that uh, XRP and perhaps the rest of the altcoin market doesn't follow. Eh, I'm not buying it. All right, here's a tweet from Patty Stash. XRP pushing through here. Not an in in-depth analysis, but I wanted to share it. I like highlighting Patty Stash on this channel. He's always an entertaining guy to watch here. And so he's just kind of pointing out that it's breaking above this trend line that he set there. All right, next from Magic, who has over 69,000 followers on TradingView. He wrote this. Bitcoin and all of crypto are enormously deceptive right now. <clears throat> I see so many people claiming that the bottom is in. While it's true that we could see a quick relief rally, the bottom is not in. Bitcoin is in a massive ABC correction, and it should push Bitcoin near $3,000 or $1,000. Now, this is going to be fun to track because I don't... I don't. It's, let me share with you his, his specifics here. And here's another tweet where he, he, uh, from today where he shared a link to, uh, to to his trading view page. He wrote, don't miss proof Bitcoin slash crypto is nowhere near the bottom. Read all. Well, I'm going to, I read the thing, but I, I'm just going to share parts of it because I, I don't want the video to go too long here. Um, worth checking out if you have some time, if you want to read through the whole thing. And then on top of that, it's perhaps a little bit more um, 
techy. Not all of his stuff. Like he, I think he writes it. Yeah, like, he's good at writing. I think so. Like so he, frequently, he's able to write that in such a way that even if you you're not a chart guy, like I'm not, you can read his stuff and get it. But um, some of it gets a little bit too techy, and I I just I don't want some people's eyes to glaze over because I'm not targeting people that are chart analysts for videos like this. It's I mean, if you are super duper, that's fine, and you can still get something out of it. But I'm just saying, I think most people are not and aren't going to learn. And I'm one of them, and so I don't want to get overly uh, technical about this. I just more so want to share the sentiments here. So anyway, here's what he writes, though. And again, Magic, with six, over 69,000 followers on this, this, this site, TradingView. Don't lose sight of the big bearish picture. So many people are calling the bottom right now, but the big picture analysis says the bottom is not in. Uh, bearish signals from the MACD. And by the way, that is just a fantastic new hip-hop artist. Um, on the left and right, we have two different weekly Bitcoin charts. Each chart encompasses the entire recorded history of Bitcoin. Looking at the chart on the left, you can see that there are four vertical pink trend lines. Uh, each one of the, those uh, trend lines corresponds to a point on the MACD, uh, where the signal line dropped below the zero lines. Um, as you can see, those signals produce 65 to 70% declines in the past. Bitcoin just broke down below the weekly zero line a few weeks ago. So, based on the previous example, we should expect a 65 to 70 percent decline from the point of the signal. That would put price somewhere in the mid to high 2000s. Now, that will scare some people. Now, if that happens, I will not be scared. I will view it. Uh, I would view that personally as a as a buying opportunity. Don't know. Again, not financial advice. I'm gonna be super duper clear on that. But I'm just talking about for myself. Yep, because <laughs> uh, this asset class is not going away. XRP, no indication is going away anytime soon, if ever. All right, uh, bearish signals from the RSI. If you look at the weekly RSI, on the bottom of the chart on the left, you can see that it's confirming that Bitcoin is in a clear bear market. You can see that when the RSI is above the 51 region, price is in a bull market. However, when the weekly RSI is below the 51 region, it corresponds to a bear market in price. So the weekly RSI is signaling that Bitcoin remains in a bear market correction right now. So that's the big picture of it. Now, if you do have time, I do encourage you to read through this. Um, I think Magic is rather insightful here. And there's a reason that he's accumulated over 69,000 followers on this freaking website and over 30,000 on Twitter. So I'll just leave that where it is, okay? And he doesn't pretend to just have a crystal ball. He's talking responsibly about probability of outcomes, and it's just based on the charts. It's not based on some sort of ideology or what he wants to happen with that. And he's pro-XRP, mind you, as well. But I'm, I'm just saying that's the way he's treating it, which is something that I can respect. You know. So anyway, that's it for this video, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.